Hello. Okay, here is more bonus material. Um, we were reading stories of how like animals got their colors and things like that. So I have a few books in that genre that I would like to read to you and talk about. Okay, Tico and the Golden Wings by Leo Leone. A little bird born without wings is one day granted his dearest wish. Many years ago, I knew a little bird whose name was Tico. He would sit on my shoulder, there we go, and tell me all about the flowers, the ferns, and the tall trees. Once Tico told me this story about himself. I don't know how it happened, but when I was young, I had no wings. I sang like the other birds and I hopped like them, but I couldn't fly. Lately, I'm sorry, luckily, my friends loved me. They flew from tree to tree and in the evening they brought me berries and tender fruits gathered from the highest branches. Often I asked myself, why can't I fly like the other birds? Why can't I too soar through the big blue sky over villages and treetops? There's the other birds bringing him the fruit. And I dreamt that I had golden wings strong enough to carry me over the snow-capped mountains far, far away. One summer night, I was awakened by a noise nearby. A strange bird, pale as a pearl, was standing behind me. I am the wishing bird, he said. Make a wish and it will come true. I remembered my dreams with all my might, and I wish I had a pair of golden wings. Suddenly, there was a flash of light, and on my back there were wings, golden wings, shimmering in the moonlight. The wishing bird had vanished. There's, there's the wishing bird. Cautiously, I flapped my wings, and uh, then I flew. I flew higher than the tallest tree. The flower patches below looked like stamps scattered over the countryside, and the river like a silver necklace lying by, lying in the meadows. I was happy, and I flew well into the day. I gotta change my glasses. There we go. But when my friends saw me swoop down from the sky, they frowned on me and said, You think you're better than we are, don't you, with those golden wings? You wanted to be different. And off they flew without saying another word. Uh -oh. Why had they gone? Why were they angry? What? Was it bad to be different? I could fly as high as the eagle. Mine were the most beautiful wings in the world, but my friends had left me, and I was very lonely. One day, I saw a man sitting in front of a hut. He was a basket maker, and there were baskets all around him. There were tears in his eyes. I flew onto a branch from him where I could speak to him. Why are you sad? I asked. Oh, little bird, my child is sick and I am poor. I cannot buy the medicines that would make him well. How can I help him, I thought. And suddenly I knew I will give him one of my feathers. Wow, that's pretty cool. How can I thank you, said the poor man happily. You have saved my child, but look, your wing. Where the golden feather had been, there was a real black feather, as soft as silk. From that day, little by little, I gave my golden feathers away, and black feathers appeared in their place. I thought many I bought many presents, three new puppets for a poor puppeteer. There's his feathers changing. A spinning wheel to spin the yarn for an old woman's shawl, a compass for a fisherman who got lost at sea. There's a spinning wheel. Make me yarn, and that's the compass that tells you what direction you are. And when I had given my last golden feathers to a beautiful bride, my wings were as black as India ink. I f 
flew to the big tree where my friends gathered for the night. Would they welcome me? Do you think his friends are going to be nice to him now that he's like them? They chirped with joy. Now you're just like us, they said. We all huddled close together, but I was happy and excited. I couldn't sleep. I remembered the basket maker's son, the old woman, the puppeteer, and all of the others I had helped with my feathers. Now my wings are black, I thought, and yet I am not like my friends. We are all different. Each of us his own memories and his own invisible golden dreams. The end. So what did you think of that book? I would like you to write a story about why a particular animal got their feature. For example, why the giraffe's neck is so tall or why um, the elephant has tusks or something like that. So if you could just write a little story and I would um, love to read them. Um, maybe you could um, take a picture of it and email me or text it to me. Um, that would be fun. I would just love to read it. This is not a um, for a grade, but um, and if you don't want to, if you want to write it but don't want to show it to me, that's fine. Um, but that would just be a fun little um, writing activity. Okay. I have more of those kinds of books that I will post in a little bit. Bye.